There we go. Let's see if this is large enough. Oh, that's huge. I think we did it that big. I think that's good enough. <clears throat> See if you guys can hear the music. Let me check on my end. Yeah, I can hear it. Let's see what we got here. So it says, destroy the mountains before your starship collides with one of them. For that, shoot the highest mountain on your path. The rules are, at the start of each game turn, you are given the height of eight mountains from left to right. By the end of the game turn, you must fire on the highest mountain by output in its index. Okay. Firing on a mountain or only destroy part of it. Reducing its height, your ship descends after each pass. Don't forget to run the test by launching them from the test cases window. The tests provide and the validators use to create calculator score or slightly different to avoid hard coded solutions. Okay. So the game input looks like there's an infinite loop. Read the heights of the mountains from the standard input and print the standard output, the index of the mountain to shoot. So we have input, output. All right, let's go. Hey everybody for watching, how's it going? So what happens if we just, let's see. Boom. So I just wanted to see what happened if we just went ahead and tried it. So, looks like we just crashed it. Where are we at? So if it's greater than four, looks like our spaceship targeted mountain four, then the altitude went down, and we crashed it on mountain zero. We'll watch it again. Can we start over? Boom. <laughs> all right, so first of all, let's get rid of that. That way it's not hard coded in. And I feel like, let me see. We need to have some variables in here. Let's do max for like the max out height. Uh, let's make it zero and let's do max index, I guess, because it wants the index of the mountain. So for elements and range of the eight mountains, we're going to input the height. Um, I put this. Because this is what we want. We want it to print the index of the mountain. So it's going to be the max. We're gonna just, I just work backwards. Don't mind me. Um, I feel like. I need some type of, where is it at, if statement. So if the mountain, if it is greater than max, so if the mountain is greater than the max number, we are going to equal to equal 
was the element. So this is like finding the highest mountain. sense this is represent the highest of one mountain and this is like I guess it's not finding it it's like setting it same thing all right so we're saying wow true stop the mountains greater than mountain height that's input is greater than max. I'm gonna set it to, did I spell it right? Yes. That's what the element is. Let's try. Maybe we should make this bigger. So we can see what's going on. Try it again. Boom. Boom. Go while loop. Be six and seven. A. Let me see what it did. So, let me rewind it. So if it's greater than zero, altitude was at nine. Greater than one. So then we targeted mountain one because that was the highest mountain. And then it went down to eight. So it went from zero, nine, one, eight, two, seven, three, six, four, Five, five, four, six, three, seven, done. Okay. Let's see if it does the next one. If the mountains are scattered. So it did zero, one, two, should do four. Five, seven, and back for three, and six. Cool. see strong mountains so apparently there's some strong mountains out there looks like mountain number five is pretty strong all right what's the next two shed one come back for three Okay, Strong Mountains Part 2, looks like 5, looks like 1, then 7, then 5, 1, Let's see, last one. Oh, so the altitude just keeps dropping. It's at six. There we go. Nice. 
And that's how wild loops work. So that's pretty nifty. I guess we can play all of them. It's not gonna slow it down, that's whack. see what I learned solution to this puzzle lies in following concepts if you consider that you've acquired the skills listed below tick the corresponding boxes and they'll appear in your learning profile if not brush up on your knowledge and try again mm, I guess 